What would you do if you got fired from your job for posting on social media, especially something that you felt very, very deeply about? Well, today, me and my friend Rob from the Babbling Pastor podcast talk about something you've probably seen that went viral on Twitter and other social media platforms in which somebody got fired for posting about a former lifestyle they were involved in. Let's look at it now. I think I did find one that is actually going to end us more on a positive note. We're going to come a little bit back up on the roller Wonderful. coaster here. All right, so let's head over there. I just got fired from my job for my social media. And this is where I worked. And like, I'm not crying or upset or mad. I'm just like, like, this is, this is wild. <laughs> And this is expected. And there's nothing that I talk about on my social media except for Jesus. And so obviously that has to be the only reason. Now, they talked about me recording some things in conference rooms and my mindset was, this is a big place, it's not that serious. I'm gonna really try to not have the logo be in anything. They said the logo was in one of my videos, I don't recall, but they said in general, overall, it's against their social media policy, um, which is very interesting. I know places and occupations and jobs, they have people, you know, take videos, like if there's like educational purposes, but obviously don't have kids there or whatever. This only happens when you stand in truth. And here's what I'm gonna do. I know the Lord is gonna provide for me, but I just wanted to let y'all know this is what happens when you love Jesus. And I'm not gonna stop loving Jesus and I'm gonna bless them and I hope they do well. But this means that my time here is up and there's something else that the Lord needs me to do. So keep me in your prayers. Love y'all. Okay, so a little bit of background on that clip. I don't know if you've seen this guy at all. His name's Richard, I guess. And mm -hmm. so he had a video go viral um, a while back before this one in which he was talking about how Christ had saved him out of homosexuality. And so he made this big video about that. His entire social media is being uh, saved out of homosexuality. And so that one went viral. Um, and apparently the company in which he works at saw obviously that go viral, saw that he filmed it while he was at work, uh, as well as like some other videos that he had filmed while he was at work. And then he get he gets fired for it. Now there's a whole podcast. Like, I don't know if you guys, if you're watching this, you saw on the side, like Lecrae was up there and says, check your DMs. Lecrae actually had a podcast with this guy. I didn't, I have not watched it. Um, but basically having that conversation about what it means for God to save you out of sin, that in his particular sin. And then the progressive uh, Christians has exploded on Twitter whenever it, he, Lecrae d dared to have somebody on that said you could be saved out of homosexuality. And so I think one of the things just from this particular clip that was encouraging was <clears throat> that you have somebody that um, that is really going against the um, the perceived narrative of like, you know, you, you can be saved from these tremendous sins and still walk with Jesus even when terrible things happen. Like, this dude lost his job. Like, he doesn't have... Like, if you go on his social media account, like, there was a bunch of people that donated money to him so he could pay his rent because that was the thing that was coming up next. And then um, he obviously got he got interviewed by Lecrae about his whole testimony, his whole story. And one of the reasons that I wanted to bring this one up is because I just think it's an encouraging way it's encouraging to see that obviously there's negatives out there, right? We've covered the, we've covered, we've co we could pull up a thousand different like clips to be like, Oh, look what's wrong with Christianity. But the re the reality mm -hmm. is there are people out there that have been genuinely <clears throat> transformed by the gospel that, um, that despite the pushback that they're going to get either from culture or from like so-called progressives, they're still going to say like, I don't think you get it. Like I have been transformed and regardless of what that brings my way, I'm okay with it. Because the dude could have, he could have easily, and I'm sure they probably ask him to delete the video or take it down, bef you know, before they fired him. That's the that's HR protocol. Like I've been in the business world long enough to know that was a question that he got asked. Like just delete it, bro, and it's fine. Just get rid of it, and it's cool. And he probably, uh, obviously, said no. 
And so I think it's just encouraging to see believers um, that I think I've watched some of his videos. We, I would disagree with him on some theology stuff, like some secondary stuff. But um, but the idea is just to see believers being like, all right, I trust God. And I think, again, this goes back to the first clip we talked about. Like there was something that Richard here interacted with in scripture God used to change his life. And now he's taking a firm stand because he's read that. And he's like, I'm not going to change my mind about this, even if it costs me my job and like my money and all of that. And I just think it's one of those things that's super encouraging to help other believers say like, <clears throat> all right, I'm going to stand firm too. And I think that's the power of the testimony really at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's a lot actually to, to say there. Um, I mean, so on, on the one hand you have, there is a, a legitimacy to the fact that, um, our, so when you take a, a job, any job, I mean, that's a, that's a mutual two way. I agree to this. You agree to that. Okay, cool. We'll have this relationship. I mean, that's, that's what it is. So, and you have the ability because we're not, um, you know, communists at this point, um, you you have the ability to quit and they have the ability to quit for you right i mean that's just the, the nature of it um but the with uh his situation um i'm i'm sure there are uh i'm sure that there are companies that exist that um attempt to write into their, um, you know, uh, policies or whatever that, for instance, in this case, I'm sure that there, there exist companies that, that write right from the get go, what you agree to in the, uh, you know, policy or whatever, um, is that, Hey, if you, uh, social media policy, for instance, in this, in this case, um, if you violate this, we can fire you without question. Like if we can show that you've violated it. Right. I mean, they, they, they probably do have that. Right. And, and they probably 100%. also, yeah. um, yeah. And, and they probably also have, uh, uh, this idea, um, in their, uh, discrimination, uh, bit, right. That, that that is a video that as far as the world is concerned is discriminating against a class of people um, and so in that sense um, I mean if I if I believe what the world believes about this subject I mean I could see why uh, someone would be upset enough to say listen bro like you're out <laughs> Right. Um, uh, however, um, this uh, uh, homosexual being a class of people is not a biblical thing. Um, it, it, that, and so for us as Christians, I think this is where a lot of uh, a lot of folks um, fall off of a wagon, so to speak, or like fall off, walk off the flat earth, um, as, uh, uh, so in the, the statement on social justice and the gospel, right. There's a, there's a line in there that says something like, um, we, we reject that, um, or, or that, uh, the term quote, gay Christian, end quote, is uh, not a biblical category. Um, and I think that that's true and really helpful um, in the same way that you and I would both discourage someone from saying, I'm a Republican Christian, <laughs> right? I don't think we need an extra descriptor there. I, I mean, I, I think that Christian is substantial enough and we don't need any description there. Um, I wouldn't call myself a Baptist Christian, <laughs> right? And so, um, so and and you know, uh, too, uh, uh, just defining you wouldn't. I wouldn't want to define um, anyone 
by a particular sin, right? Like, I think that's one of the, the things that we get um, really wrong sometimes. And in this subject, uh, particularly, is we define people by their sin. They define themselves by this particular thing. And, and you know, I think the one, one of the things that I would want all folks who struggle with that or who wouldn't view it as a struggle um, uh, in their life would be that you are, like the world is actually attempting to reduce you to, to sexual choices. The, the world is attempting to reduce you, your personhood, to your sexuality. Um, and that's really unfortunate because you're a lot more than that. Um, you're, that's, that's not, um, like in, in our world, this is how you identify. Um, but that's, your identity is so much more than your sexuality or even your gender or, or any of these things that we get hung up on. I think we're so starving and craving identity and to know our purpose and, and those kinds of things. Um, and the world in mass is giving us one. <laughs> um, and, um, and it's, it's really just really unfortunate that, that this becomes, and this is why, this is why, um, uh, this is why a lot of folks, um, who, <clears throat> who define themselves, uh, by that, uh, hate Christianity, like biblical Christianity. Because when we say this is a sin, as far as they're concerned, we're attacking who they are. But that's just not the case. This isn't who you are. So I, all that to say, I, I know that that was kind of off, off the topic of that particular video, but, but this is a real, a real, you know, for lack of a better word, this is going to sound a little violent for our worship leaders and the other one, but uh, this is this is part of that war, right? I mean, the 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 world has this one view of of what is clearly um, sin against God in in the Bible, um, and if the world make no mistake, if the world was pushing was not pushing this and was pushing arsony. Well, then the church would be bigots for um, talking about uh, arson being wrong all the time. I mean, at the end of the day, that's that's actually what's happening. So, yeah. Well, and I think to touch on one point before we end here is that I think that's what Richard was really getting at is that if you watch some of his other videos, he talks about the idea that like his identity isn't in 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 you know in sexuality or anything. It's in Christ, and so. I think it comes really full circle in everything we've talked about because like even the first video or I don't know if it's the first video that he, he had that went viral or another one, but it really wraps around to the same point he makes in this one, which is that like, I'm secure in Christ. I know who I am in Jesus. And so there's not going to be anything outside of that that defines who I am except who Jesus is. And so that is going to be the defining thing. And the reason we can come to that conclusion is because we have the revealed word of God in Jesus Christ. We have it written in scripture that points us to Jesus. And again, another thing we've talked about, the idea of knowing that there is a wrath to escape. There is a reconciliation to be had, but that can only be done through Jesus Christ. And when we understand that, and whenever um, the faith is gifted us, gifted to us to believe that, then we are able to understand yeah. that like, oh, wow, there's a way to live, right? There's a way of life and a way of death, and we get to choose that. And the way of life comes through Jesus. And that affects everything you do, whether that be worship, whether that be driving, a, <laughs> driving around in a van with, <laughs> with Jesus in a box, like whatever <laughs> it is, like the idea is that like when you, when you know who Christ is, it affects everything that you do. And it should affect how you read the word and how you live your life in the world and how you sing the songs and how you operate in church. And all of these things come really full circle um, when you understand who Christ is and that he's affected your life. So that, that comes down to identity and all these other things as well, which is really the powerful message of the gospel is that like, it's not just Jesus saves you, good job, pat on the back, go live your life. It's that he transforms you and yep. in transforming you, your entire life is transformed. Um, and so is everything around you really as a consequence of that. So, 
hopefully, guys, that was helpful for you. Do you guys, do, Rob, do you have anything to say before you turn off your AI background? I mean, you've got this light over here acting like you got the sun out there. I don't believe any of it. Like, do you have anything to say before you turn this off? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I, I mean, I don't other than, I, I, well, I, yeah, it's funny. I say I don't other than, um, which means I do. Um, well, that's so pr- I, that's pastor I, language. I would, In closing, fifteen minutes later, yeah, 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 yeah. It's uh, uh it's not, it's not my identity. Um, so we, I think, when um, one of the things that that I hope everyone um leaves with whenever we do videos like this, um, or frankly, whenever you see anyone doing videos like this, um, is that. We really live in this world of uh, TikTok videos at this point. Um, that they're um, whether it's uh, on. I mean, every platform has put their TikTok version together, right? Um, you have you have it on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and or X, sorry, and all all the things. All of them have it now. Um, the short form video, YouTube. <laughs> it's the first thing that pops up now on on my stuff a lot of times um uh you you really can't learn a lot in uh, um in a short form video like that uh it's basically a video tweet <laughs> it's really all you get right that there's is not an excellent any point. yes any uh yeah and 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 there's really no like big conversation happening there and and i mean i would even say this about like I've, I've made like four shorts or something and, and, um, that's it. Like, because I just don't have time for that. But, um, uh, but uh, even, even when people watch like honest youth pastor shorts, um, or, or any, any of them, like my hope would be that, um, this, this cannot be where you get your theology. Um, yeah, or your views about what's right and wrong or true or false or whatever. Um, I think we live in a world that is uh, far, uh, far too, um, we live in a generation, uh, uh, and I think that, I think that there are hints of this not being a thing anymore. Um but we live we live in a generation uh frankly the past few generations where people have slowly and methodically been taught what to think and not how to think um yeah and and so one of the one of the problems uh with all of this is uh we get our what to think from other people um who got it from other people who got it from other people online somewhere and um and and this is why if if you get into some sort of apologetic conversation with someone, um, often uh, all you have to do to stop the conversation, uh, n- nine out of ten, all you have to do to stop the conversation is ask, what do you mean by that a couple of times? Or can you tell, like, give me an example? Or like you ask a few questions like that, and what you'll find out is 90% of people have no clue what they're talking about. They've just heard this from somewhere who, yeah. who heard it from somewhere else. And there's nothing like they can't point to some document somewhere that they've laid their eyes on and read. Um, and, and it's the same in, I like I'm picking on Christians too, right? Uh, you, if you don't have a chapter verse in context to back up some major claim you're making, um, you need to shut up. <laughs> you you need to you need to know what you're uh what you're talking about and what's behind it and then you can engage in conversation uh, intelligently um but and so all that to say if you're if you're a person who is um if if you're a person who's taking these kinds of things in uh, uh take them in so that you'll learn where where people are culturally you can learn about our culture you can learn a lot about our culture through watching these kinds of things um but don't do it to learn (laughs) please don't do it to learn um study the scriptures for yourself read old books for yourself 
uh, you know, um, look at who authored each book and read a little about that person. Like, uh, it's, it's really important. It's really important that, that we become a generation of Christians who know why we believe what we believe, know how to think about the scriptures, how to interpret scriptures in context guys thanks for making it all the way to the end appreciate you sticking around what you think about this particular topic let me know below if you liked it leave a like if you didn't double tap that down thumbs down button and we'll talk to you next time